Welcome back everyone to the Sandpit. Tonight you're here with Sandy from VIP Traders. Tonight we're just going to be going over uh, what we look for for a trade. Going through tickers, uh, if you've all got a watch list out there, uh, knowing when to make a move, just, just some small things to look for. Uh, I chart the watch list for the, for, for the stocks in the VIP. And I'm just gonna go over uh, a couple of things, maybe some secrets, we'll see. Uh, if I, if I want to let you in on that. Just some things to look out for, uh, for early morning, uh, charting larger time frames. This is where we start. Uh, we all want to know where the chart is going. And then we break it down from whether it be monthly, weekly, right down to the one minute. Five minute I, I really like to end on uh, for, for posting the chart and I'll explain why. But I've got a couple of charts here, just some random charts from uh, our Facebook group. Uh, just so I wanted it random so I don't actually I may know them I may not but we're starting with a fresh slate so you're going to see me chart these live give you a basic idea of, of how we do it what we look for so a couple couple we've got five or six on the board I think let's just have a quick look uh, that's our quick list that we've got uh, one two we've got seven there we'll start with Seva so I'm in the I'm in the monthly. Uh, reason I'm in the monthly is this is a fairly old old stock. Back in 2001 it started or 2000. I'm just getting an overall picture of what it's doing. So you can see basically it's been in a downtrend the whole time. Uh, we have had some large uptrends here. This is what we people would be looking for. But overall, it's a massive downtrend, and uh, there must have been some sort of uh, uh, what do you call it pharmaceuticals or whatever they're doing here uh, some some interest in what are you looking at probably October 20 I don't know this is that area is part of your DD uh, you do your research I just do the charts charts can tell a lot of the story though so um, let's get into it first of all again we just like I said we're gonna chart a quick chart out of, of what it's doing to get our bearings so uh, what I want to do is chart the tops of this to start with holding left control will lock you onto the top of a wick I'm just charting the downtrend so you can see how see here it's finally broke this would be a major major downtrend this blue and then you've got your other downtrend in here if you wanted to do some parallel lines just very quickly draw some lines in there that's one trend here you did have a bit of an uptrend here a bit of a wedge actually if you want to look at it properly see the wedge the wedge actually broke down did not like where it was going. So I'd have to look at a closer look at that and see what kind of volume or what happened. If we pull this right through, you can see it kind of lines up. This is just a major dip into a, into a buying session. Okay, that's overall. We can see that it was a downtrend. Now we'll look. Now I just want to lay out some support and resistance real quick. So I start here because you need to know where your major support and resistance is. So this one's definitely one. These are yellow. I like to color code things to know where I'm at. We don't need a lot in here because we the, the stock is charting right up here. So let's just see what we've got here. I always like to use the first candle of the opening. This is the opening month. Whether it be the opening month, day or week, I always like to pull a candle off the first candle, whether it be the top or the bottom. You'll find if you pull the retracement Fibonacci from here all the way down to there, it would pull up everything. We can do that just to double check. It's our low, 76 cents. Wow, it'd be great if you grabbed it on, on that. I'm way too zoomed out. Yeah. 
That'll do, 80 cents. You can see that's one of the lines it hits. We've hit there. We've hit there. Hit there perfectly. I'm just gonna use that for now on this one, just to show you some different ways we can chart. Pulling a retracement is quickest and easiest way. If these lines are too close, I just normally delete them. That's just probably momentum poking up through there. All right, let's jump down into the day. A massive uptrend. You can see here we've got a massive double bottom here. Okay, where can we chart this from? like that didn't come through. Okay. Get rid of that line. If lines are close, I just delete them. Alright, so blue line is what we've broken. That looking at a support for that. But again, being having such a big uptick, so May, virtually May till we've had a let's just say May till July, small sell off, and then PT. I think I don't know, Meg, are you listening? Was PT like one sixty or something? Yeah, it, some. I mean, it was all the way from like I don't know one hundred five to maybe some of them were like one eighty or something. Okay. So I've got it one. all this week is the news, so we'll see. All right, so one eighty four is my would probably where you would find, yeah, the 180, the 180 would be a good sell-off. Uh, 185, if you were really wanted to push your trade, but I probably wouldn't go that far. You'd, you'll see sell-offs well before uh, that Fibonacci level. So, let's have a look what we've got here. Now, when you've got candles like this, daily candles, you can't really pull a trend from it. It's just, I'm going to say, it, it's just too loose. You can't pick up tops and bottoms really quick. So uh, we've got enough levels that we want. We, we, do, we do the lines first, and then we go back and check the indicators. So now we just roll back. I normally like to go to the four hour. Let's have a look. I still don't like the candles. Let's go to the one hour. And now I've got some nice wicks out there. That's a nice ladle there. I call that a ladle, that one. Look at that. All right. So what we're going to do now is, is we look for, we look for a swing. So you've got a swing from here, to, uh, here to here, top of a swing, bottom of a swing. So that's where we pull lines from. From is the bottom of a swing. And then we're going to draw orange. Orange is intraday levels not as strong as these yellow ones. So the first tap we go from, which will be this. Let's just see if we can pull it. Looks like we've got a wedge formation here. There's two ways you can chart. You can do parallel lines or you can do what I'm doing here is pulling uh, different levels. So this would act as a major baseline. We would, if this was to drop right off, I would see it hit this. That looks like the top of a trend. You could draw one more. I like to, it's, I, I normally draw three, and that would be your top line. So make sure these all line up. Okay. Okay, so you've got three nice lines in there. That's one way you can do it. The other way would be to pull parallel lines. Now, if we do these a different color, that would be a nice channel through there as well. Now, when you do a channel, you don't go, you don't use that first dot. You normally find a top and a bottom. Um, if you haven't seen any of my previous video videos, 
the middle, the dotted line of, of a parallel channel is, is, is normally uh, a support line as well, resistance and support line. So you can see here, when you know you've got this channel right, your center will also have a lot of touches on it. And this looks perfect right here. So a few levels I would expect to have a little bit of trouble with getting through would be that level there. Um, and this level here, and then we've got our next level. So they're the three major levels we're looking for. Before we go into indicators, moving average, that's next. Okay, so support and resistance. Uh, so major levels, trends, and now moving averages. If you can't read them, I have a webinar out there. Um, please go and watch it. I hope I've put it up. I may have to. Anyway, we have a lovely 20... Uh, MA tap here on the one hour. Very strong tap, nice long wick. Uh, let's just put, you just go through the time frames to see where the moving averages are. Now, this is a long way from the moving average. And where is it on the daily? It's the only thing that scares me is when you get too far away from the 20. Because what happens is it wants to come back to it keep telling people it's like a dog and its owner if the dog gets too far away it, it needs to turn around and come back to its owner to feel safe you know, it's, it's the only way I can explain it, it gets too far away you got to be careful because it will come back not everything goes up all the time everything does not go to the moon I'm sorry to burst some bubbles here but it doesn't just looking at the the four hour candle uh, some sellers in there. We have a, a, a lower body with a high a wick above it. Uh, shows buyers in there in the tape, but a lot of sellers as well. So pushing that candle down. I don't really like it. We do have a green doji. Uh, again, we haven't moved the indicators yet. We don't need to. Purely looking at the moving average. So you can see here we've got some intertwinement within the 15 minute. Uh, moving average is very close together like this. I don't really like the 200 still well down here so it's still very positive um, the only thing with that is remember is you've got a long way to fall to bounce so you can see here we're already at a, a high so where's our highs so that's our current all-time high well no sorry not all-time high that'll be our latest high there where currently you can see now that I've drawn lines, you can see that we've actually hit the top of this parallel trend and we're going to reverse. Um, very shortly, we'll get into, get into the indicators. We'll check it out. Now down to the five minute. Probably the last one I'll check. I won't go to the one minute unless I'm, I'm trading. So we're on the 20. Huge red volume, which is just a Friday, which is fine. You can see here, another Friday afternoon here. Um, let's have a quick look. So it's rallied all week. You could almost suspect there's going to be a sell-off. All right. So we, we're positive on, on all the time frames above the moving averages. Now we go into, again, back to the daily, bring up our indicators. So RSI is above 75. I need to change, let me change this real quick for you guys. Most of you use 14 here. Okay, so RSI is above 70, so it's currently supercharged. Let's have a look. So you can see it's it's reached a prior peak level, which is here. If you draw a line here on a prior peak level, you need to take these into consideration. Again, we're looking left. So a prior peak, look what happens at a prior peak, it falls. So we've got a major fall here, um, major fall here. Not quite, but we had a major fall there. And if you want to mark these up, this is sometimes what I do. We just we go and look at our peaks real quick as well. So many different ways you can look at stuff. Let's just have a look at some quick peaks here. This one I'm I'm interested in in the green. Whoop. Is our green peak all the way down there? Okay. So the MACD has moved up. 
Okay, so we don't have a divergence yet. It's moved up every time RSI has stayed the same level though. So what we need to see for a divergence for something to go down is the MACD going down or lower lows and this still going up. So currently we're still seeing higher highs. This might be our first lower high here. So the stochastic shows me we've still got momentum. You can see it's still going up on the daily. Uh, this, this will lag though, don't forget. The MACD is still very high in its zone. Very bullish still. So this is where can, you can get conflicting ideas on whether it's going to return or not. It may, may be building a bull flag here. So the eight hour, you, should, you can start to see it roll over, yep. But you can see a tick. I think that's just Friday. Lots of momentum. You can see the one hour is ready to go again. I don't think this is ready to come down just yet. Again, we're looking for, so we're looking for trends. Again, is, you can trend all of these indicators. So if we trend this here, I would suspect for this, by the looks of this, it looks like it's going to curve kind of like that, or it may come down even more. Shouldn't go lower than this line right now though, if it wants to follow that trend. So we draw these trends. What I draw these trends for is if this was to pull down past this trend, that, that would be, depends on where your entry is, but that would be a major sell off, major sell past that line because you can see the trend that it breaks. So let's have a look. The one hour is good. The 30 minutes, fantastic ready to go, good RSI, good level. The stochastic starting to pull away again. Okay, so 15. So it looks like the five minutes gonna tell us what, what we really wanna see here. You can see we've come all the way down for a lower low here on the RSI. What's this gonna dip back to? What we like to see here is a dip to the 50 and then a push back up. The five is where we really, where it tells the story. So let's have a check it out. So we've had a, a level touch here. We've, we've just popped under the 200, but we've come back. Mondays are hard, they're hard, but we're looking very, very positive. You can see basically the MACD is, is, is in a good, good zone to reverse in. It's not sitting low to the zero line. So at this current setting, I would see this Probably just drop into Monday morning for a nice 10 o'clock bounce and honestly continue through. I think we may be looking for that 145 level. It looks very bullish still, very bullish. So I like the looks of that. That's it, that's how I get, that's how we pick a, pick a trade. Uh, if we were to drop through, again, we would be looking for, if you're not in the trade, we would be watching for volume in the morning and RSI on how high the RSI would be for a reversal. And they don't always drop to the 200, but the five minute on the daily is what we look for. So uh, if it drops through the 20 and the 50, you would watch the 200. And if you could confirm a bounce on the 200, that would be your entry. So potentially somewhere 10.30, 10 o'clock in that area, we would look for our, our entry. Uh, whoops, hope that makes sense to everyone. All right, let's go to the next one. What do we got? US, WS. Well, I can chart this as much as you want, but for something like this, you need to be watching the price. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, but uh, 
I know you watch this all day and this just fluctuates no matter what the chart tells you. But overall, if, you, if you're going for a long hold, uh, let's see what we're looking at. So again, a very long, this has been out forever. So uh, what do we got? Okay, current downtrend. So let's just pull some lines real quick. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what I've done here, uh, pulled through that, but I picked up the tip of that and the tip of this one in here. It looks like a pretty good line there. I'll go with that. So blues, major downtrend. I do it blues because when you're in a, a 15 minute or a five minute, you end up with lines all over your screen and when you, when you color code things, you know exactly what they mean. Uh, put some major lines in there. What's our major? Two, three, two. Somewhere around there. This one we won't run a fib. We'll just show you some lines that we'll do. See? Look at that. Like, look, look at that level on the first candle. Always. Uh, and that's all we need for that. Uh, that could be a major level there because that's a dip. Run it through there. Okay, let's see what we're working with. So straight to the daily. So on the daily, you can see the moving average 20 is still way up here. Oh no, that's, sorry, that's the line. Where's the 20? Looks like we can't make our mind up in here at the moment. And that's what you don't want. Uh, moving averages that intertwine like mating snakes is something to stay away from really looks like we've got a red hammer here but we have a moving average facing down so if you look at this if you look at that if you look at the angle of that moving average if you put that in white you can see it's facing down if you get rid of everything here I would want to see that above that for my next trade Potentially looks like a double bounce here, so let's check it out. This could be an entry. So normally after a huge downfall, you get a touch, a dramatic uprise, and then a downturn back into a major support level or close to it, which is roughly around here. You can see here, yep, picked up here and picked up many other candles here. So I would say these candles down here are just, are just pure momentum. This is our actual level that we want keep going down see if we can run a line now it takes practice to run lines but you don't just run a line I'll show you the difference here you wouldn't just run a line you could run a line straight down there if you wanted to you can see that it lines up uh, that could be, for me, this would, I would probably do two lines. Now, drawing two lines is, um, it's like an extra safety. So this would be our first signs of positivity if it broke through this. A second sign or our uh, sign that says, yes, that's definitely now moving into an uptrend would be that line there. Sometimes I like to draw two. Um, so somewhere this might be an entry here or because I've drawn two lines your entry may be once it gets through this line again passing on top is what we want we don't want it to drop below this line I don't think it will because the price is already damn low but just two ways you can pick entries um, you've got I would say a, a aggressive entry safe entry very safe entry uh, so let's have a look. We've got a double bottom here, which failed. Let me just take this ribbon off. No one needs to see the ribbon. It's for another episode. Okay, we're below everything currently on the one hour. So let's bring indicators up real quick because we have been traveling under the zero for quite a while. So potential good entry here. 
for those of you who don't know how to use a, a stochastic a basic is just shows you buying and selling so right now we're we're buying we've got a divergence down here so basically it's uh, sell buy sell buy it just shows you the what the market's doing it's kind of uh, the stochastic I would say would be a, an indicator in between the MACD and the RSI again I'll do another video on that it's content that I'm I'm getting to um, colors my VWAP here what do you got me yeah we're green okay so that's our VWAP so in the one hour we've got pink I still don't like it it's potential it's probably a I would you could get an entry here and then load into it only because the RSI is so low uh, MACD is pointing down so MACD these lines also are the same as the moving averages uh, you look at the angles so currently it's still moving down let's go down a bit further okay so we can see the 30 minutes ready to start coming back up but being under it's still lower highs Keep moving down. You can see the 15 minutes still rolling over. It may pull down to this line here. And you can see it's not ready. You can see here it's it's tried to move into positive on the five minute and just did not like it. So not ready for an entry yet, but close. Something something to watch. Uh, what you could do here is um could go don't set an alert on the line because sometimes it'll miss but you could just set an alert here add alert for crossing down and then when that crosses down there that gives you an alert you come in and see if you want to put your trade in okay I hope that's helped everyone so overall Risky to get in now, uh, might pay off. Scared money doesn't make money. Or just wait. So you got a red doji there and a red candle still falling. Crappy volume. You can see volume is just, um, if you go here on the volume, you can see here, it's slowly declining average, so. Um, you could draw a line here and if you see volume push up through that line that could be a, a small breakout again that could be an entry watching the volume which you should be watching if you don't have volume then unless you're really doing long swings and don't bother okay that wouldn't be on a watch list usws just fyi it'd be more of a i don't know is that more of an investment or just a, a long term like a monthly or two monthly kind of thing but Longer hold, but um, you could have swung it when we first put it up. True. Yeah. Big decline in oil, but who knows what the oil industry is doing at the moment. It'll bounce back eventually. Yep. All right. Again, you're going to see me start in the daily every time. Okay. Uh, we've got a wick here. All right. So major line here. Don't forget yellow. Uh, for this one... Honestly, I would just run a, a, a retracement. Uh, hey, Sandy, this is Dan Pagan checking in. Just want to let you know my son is uh, watching right now. He's very interested in the Roblox stock. All right. Well, me too. Hey, buddy. What's a question? Throw me a question. What do you want to know? What do you want to know about Roblox stock? Uh, 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 is it now a good time to get in? That, that's the question, Sandy. Just a good time to get into you. Okay. Yeah. Well, looking at this now, the question should be, is it still a good time to get in? Because obviously that hammer on the daily would have been your entry there mm. somewhere. When you, after that candle had uh, produced a hammer, you would have tried to get the next day. But let's have a look. That's a uh, hammer. That is a hammer, a red hammer, which indicates a reversal indicates a reversal because you've got 
buying pressure, pushing up, creating a long wick on the bottom. Um, it was a red candle to start with, but you've got buying pressure, pushing the sellers out uh, or pushing the bears out. Now, I can see straight away that this would potentially still be a uh, buy-in right now, and I'll explain why real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll run some levels. So uh, we'll do it yeah. old. Let's, let's do it old school. Let's go old school for everyone here. All right, so that's our major levels there. Look at that. And one more there. All right, so these are the major levels where you'll see sell -off, where you'll see sell-offs basically. That's not Bitcoin. That's Roblox. Yep. All right. I'm not so you can see I've already got an alert set on this uh, for basically saying, "Hey, look at this area. This is a buy-in." Nice. Um, now, the reason I said that, if you go back to the daily, uh, look at the moving average. You can see, although it had a major downturn here, you can see it's got a major curl happening right here. Very good. Um, <coughs> what's going on here? I've got something wrong here. Ah, uh, okay. The stock's so new, we don't have a 200 MA on the daily yet. That's why I couldn't find it. Silly, silly. All right. Uh, we've got, so we've hit, so even though you can't see resistance here, we've hit the uh, moving average 20, 20 day moving average. Now is the key time to be watching it to see what it does. So what you'd want to see is the next day, you want to see the candle start to push through that 20 and possibly the next day or two after you'd like to see the, the bottom end of the candle above the 20. Uh, I do like these candles though, very full candles, very bullish, no wicks underneath, full bodied, plenty of volume, uh, very bullish. So let's move it down to the one hour. Let's get our trend in here real quick. Let's have a look. I like to always pull from the first uh, f first big candle over here from the that hits our first candle that hits resistance I like to hit you can see it's a double top there and let's pull our so what we call this descending triangle all right uh, this is our basically our squeeze what we call it we need to break out of this squeeze so you've got two options here based off this volume I don't know if it's ready. So two scenarios, real quick. Two scenarios is basically down and out. Oh, sorry, three. Down and down, or bounce and out from there. Three scenarios, what it's gonna do. This is where it gets hard. This is where you have to watch it. Friday sell-off here. Um, we haven't even touched the moving average. Nice moving average though, nice good angle on it. That's what we wanna see. You've got the cross over here. Got these colors all wrong, excuse me. Okay, that's better. I'd have to see Monday, but let's have a look at the indicators real quick. It's just a one hour. Okay, MACD's pushed over zero, which is good. It's definitely curling. This is what's hard. That's just a Friday curl, basically. Uh, so 10.30 and it kind of steadied off volume all day. And then you can see a bit more of a drop there right at the end of the day. Uh, let's go down. Yep, you can see the 30 is on the 20. 15 is broken through. To the five so all right so now come monday morning these are the two levels i'd be looking for your 200 if it breaks through the 200 my entry would be the 79 96 mark they're my two marks for entry don't go any lower 
don't go into the one minute because you're already way down. One minute showing downtrend. Until that pushes up through the 20 and 50, it's, it's going to continue to drop. Should just see lower highs uh, come Monday unless you get major volume. So you go to the five minute, two major levels. You can see the MA is pointing down. The stock's going to go down until we see it curl around. So again, I have a feeling we're going down for a, a, a touch. You need to watch how aggressive the falls are. When they're aggressive, they, they carry momentum, which will pull them straight through the 200. Um, and the 30 minute had a pretty good fall on it, but the one hour is only just starting. So I could see the one hour actually pulling that down to this level. You can see the four hours actually potentially turning as well. It's turning on the 50 mark. So it's still got a drop. It's potentially for a really good entry on Monday, to be honest. Um, if you could jag, what's the daily dawn? Okay, so the eight hour, I have a feeling. So you, you can see here the two levels here and here. You could actually jag a really good entry. This could be actually a really good entry right here, say $80. Um, never go $80 if you set a limit. I would go just a little bit higher. Let's see some wicks here. You can see wicks don't actually touch it. So 80-10 potentially. Or if you wanted to be safe, uh, around the 80-40 would be a really good entry, uh, whether you get it on the way down or on the way up. Sound good? That's awesome, Sandy. Thank you so much. No problem, uh, I just wanted a side note. I got back into BCT. I'm up 70% on your call. You're the man. Nice, man. Good, good, to, <laughs> good, good to hear. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I cleared about 30 bucks already. Nice. Nice. Thank you, sir. All right. So that's our, our bottom trend. So that looks, I like that. That looks really good. That's a really good squeeze there. Uh, I was watching this Friday as well. I did go and have a look at uh, Roblox and did like it. So don't get stuck in the lower time frames, people. Uh, the big of time time frames paint the picture. Always zoom out. Always. All right. Uh, what are we on? D O C U. Doku sign. Wow. 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 Okay, a little bit different these ones. I'll show you a different style uh, because we don't have, we've passed now our, um, our all-time high here. We're now at another all-time high. So there's really no levels to look at from up top here. We'll get a bit more advanced here real quick just for this one. Um, so what we're going to do is, let's have a look here. Okay, so I can see lines already where I need to put them. It just, it's just, it's like the matrix to me when I look at these now. Yeah, there's two ways you can do. Now the, here you'd do a Fibonacci extension. I would do an extension and, and retracement to see where I'm at, but I would do, for me, this would be a um, extension, a big extension. Okay, let's get some levels here real quick. In here. Let's go in there. Big level there. That's not finished, so you can't put a level on top of that. It's not finished. There's no dip to go off. That's a pretty big level right in there. Somewhere in there, this is where you can zoom in, check it out. This is not even the daily yet. there I like that that's better okay uh, we can run a, a parallel trend here this there's, there's so many ways you can do this right now um, I'll show you the easiest way for those that aren't too experienced let's just run a parallel channel up here 
like so. And again, confirmation that you've got your parallel channel spot on is just, it, it matches with the top. And again, look, the center of it is acting as resistance. I know you've got a, a resistance line there, but look where it just so happens to match up on it. Again, support coming down. Looks very good there. I like the colors. I'm, I'm liking this. It's an expensive thing, but we've broken out now. So we've, a candle has closed out of a parallel trend. Um, rule of thumb for that is we should see a rally for a few days. Um, a lot of the times these will rally, come back, and I like to test the top of the trend or pull back in and then continue off on their merry way. All right, let's see some major levels, major levels. And for this one, I'm actually gonna run one, the entire height of it from the bottom. Let's just put that there real quick. Go to this dot here. So next major level is four forty seven, right up there. Close enough. All right, so all I'm doing there now is, you can see some of my lines are off. So we can just do some adjustments if we want. Pull that up there. Obviously it sees something else, so I'll just pull this line down here. This one we've got spot on. Okay, now all we do is we delete that. We know we've got our lines right. And then we do a retracement to get our smaller lines. Um, I wouldn't run it from there to there because it's probably going to be too small and top out, but I'm going to go from here and run it down here, right there. Okay, so what I'm looking for is... Have a look. This is definitely going to continue. So the we've got our divergence here on the daily, and like I said, it's broken out of this channel here, and we should see a rally. Um, and that rally, I reckon, that rally is going to push us straight into three thirty four. So if you can't afford stocks, this would be a great options play, I think. You can see it's pulled well away from the the MA twenty. Um, look how look at the distance between here. You look at it, you've got that gap there and the gap here. Uh, when the moving averages fork out like that and get really wide gaps, it's that's very very bullish. Um, that would have been perfect entry right there on that MA twenty tap on the eight hour. Where's the daily? Again daily on the M M twenty. Okay, very nice. Let me just keep pulling it back. Um, if we're looking for an entry, if you're in the swing, I'd definitely stay in it. What's Monday morning looking like? You see the one hour is starting to turn. Now, I would say this wouldn't drop too much lower than 305 because the RSI is currently sitting at uh, the 70 level, which was the supercharged level. Uh, in that zone, you you should not see the stock come under the 20 MA when the RSI is that high. So a little bit low there, you can see hugging the 20. Still on the 20. It's getting closer, so these two are getting closer to the 50 though. A little bit heavy there, so again, Friday afternoon, it's very difficult. And we've got a small turn. You can see here all the 20, all the 200 taps. 
Got one there. Got nearly one there. Slowly catching up. Bit of a sell off here, isn't there? Looks like we've got a really strong, strong top to it. So top of the trend is here. And where are we going to? Here. So that's what we'd look for. So Monday morning, if you wanted to enter this, I would, I would basically, basically be looking for that to potentially drop down and touch the 200, uh, or just continue rallying. If you wanted a, a safe entry, then um, 310 and above. If you see it push through the 310, that would be my entry, and I would ride that to 330ish before a sell-off. I like this. Very strong, very bullish. Hope that helps whoever asked for that. All right, what's next? All right, straight away we're under the 200 on, on the 30. Let's go back to the daily, check it out. All right, F. Major, major downtrend. We've pushed through that. Let's get some quickly major levels here. What's this one doing here? Looks like we fell short. Looks like the sell off happened before at. 1648 this is what i mean it's it's a it's a risk to push your trade all the way to a major uh, support or resistance line because people just, people think the same oh i'm going to get out before everyone else gets out and that that's what's happened here so where's it going to come back that's the question again let's have a look on the daily for another line not so strong that that's our return line and let's have a look if we're in the daily probably a little bit more of a drop the stochastic's nearly bottoming out here so i'd like to see that turn around that would be my entry upon that turning around in rsi i'd like to see this is where it gets difficult here guys because we've gone from a major bottom gone from a major bottom to a major top okay so we've got rule of thumb for rsi you look for that that could potentially come back up to another lower low and that's our reversal that's a major reversal here so that's what i would be looking for so this is where we need to go down smaller time frames to see what it's going to do Plenty of push through the the day, the, sorry, the weekly. What's the, so we're under the twenty on the daily. Hmm. No entry yet. Let's have a look for a line. What I'm doing here is looking for a baseline. Roughly there. See how the, the baseline lines up with the 200 here. And then if we were to draw a line from here, that's our descending triangle. So based off this, being RSI under, I'd wait for it to come back down to the 12.63 and that would be an entry. Bit of confirmation, okay, so the four hour, that's what that bounce was, the 200. Got a bit of a squeeze going on here. You can see all the MAs coming together. Um, I wouldn't trade here, just to be honest. Uh, this, this area in here, when these all come together and squeeze, it's like, 
It's like getting a squeegee ball in your hands and when you, like one of those glob balls, and when you squeeze it, you don't know which end it's going to come out of. It's either going to come out one end of your fist or the other end. And, and the same happens here. It's, it's a really tough time to tell what it's going to do. Obviously, volume trumps, uh, but you need to be careful here. So I would advise no entry here until I see it either break out of this or we see another second tap on the 200 and, and a confirmation candle uh, pushing away from it. You can see here it's under. So from the four hour, what are we? So we're under from the eight hour and the daily. Three day, what are we? The three day, we're sitting just on top of it. So we're barely, barely on top of it here. So he's saying that being under it, we're probably due for a push up. Why did nothing come through here? Uh, because of that. It's a 15 minute telling us. It's under the 200. I, I, I wouldn't trade it. It needs to be above it. Unless you can find a bounce. It's currently just hovering there at the moment. You can see the volume kind of started off good, but if you look at the average, it's down for the week. Or the last, what, I got one, two, three, down for the last two days. I think we're due for another bounce here. I would, I would watch it come down and hit it down there. Um, you could, what you could do here is you could set an alert. Uh, what we want to look for is if it's that, if that's going to push up, we want an alert probably somewhere there. Let's just say um, uh, pink for alert. Or if we wanted to grab an alert on the way down, I would probably alert at this level here and then I would be watching it for a bounce. Five minute. Yeah, it's all underneath. That's F. Close, but not yet. All right, what do we got? We got two left. Try to pump through these AEO. Okay, looks like an easy one to chart this one. Skidel. We'll start with the parallel line. Oop, wrong one. Just bang a parallel line out here. <clears throat> Big levels, what are we looking at? Level $12 to 22, so good $10 ranges. You can see we've rallied, so you can see we've closed. Don't do it to me. See, we've rallied for quite a while outside the, the trend. We've got a nice bull flag going here. So straight away, knowing what you're looking at, uh, knowing patterns, uh, everything helps. Again, there's no right way to do it. You see how I chart every chart differently, really. Let's go for some major levels real quick. Got a big one right up here. You can see that big level is now our support. You can see the support under here, which is good. You don't really need to know anything else from that, really. That's Unless you were going to watch a drop, then I would start to, to, to chart it further down to look for a drop, but I'm just going to leave that there. That's, that's, that's the only level I need to know. And our next level up top is straight through there. Let's go to the daily. Basically, I've already, I've already charted this. It's done. You've got a flag. Um, it's not really much of an angle. You've got uh, buy area down here and sell area here. Uh, what we would like to see is at some stage this probably break out and go higher. Um, uh, for what price? What would be a next major level? We'll quickly run this. Just make sure we get the top of that. There. Got 
got the bottom. What's our low here? 654. Close there. Okay, so next level. That's a big flagpole, but the flagpole really only runs from here. So rule of thumb with that is, look at that line straight up with it. Flagpole, that would be our next major level. So if that broke out, you'd go for a $44 uh, run. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. That's a, that's a $12 run if you grab at the bottom. That's basically how easy it is to, to potentially uh, grab a small swing. You can see swings are taken roughly one, two, three, four, five, five to six days. So, you know, you could catch a nice, a nice swing here. So let's see what it's currently doing. Uh, it's currently under the 20 MA on the daily. So under the 50 actually. Okay, it's going to come down. That, that would have to be coming down still. So the four hour we're still under. You can see, again, that's the top there. That's the angle coming down for the MA. So we need to break that angle. This is why you wait. You can see we're still under the 200. Now the best thing about being under the 200 is, is the supercharged areas and this that's them here. When this starts crossing over, you get these and that's that's money right there if you've got if you've got a good trade in good amount of cash sitting on it 15 you can see we're starting to come back up a little bit five minutes just hmm gets really tough here if it's not ready this will just roll back over and pull back down but if you were swinging this you know it's only two dollars you need to wait for so um I would probably be looking for an entry somewhere around that at the $33 mark. That's where I'd be watching it. As you can see here, if you look at the smaller trend within the trend, so a trend within a trend, just like your friend in the fridge, right here. This might potentially want to roll down here for the next month by the looks of that, August. Oh, it is nearly August. Or it could come down and up. Again, many scenarios. It's something you just need to watch. So AEO currently, uh, if you're in the swing, hopefully you've got a lower average than this. Uh, hopefully you caught it on the up from here. But again, each of these should have been you know, day trades or weekly trades, weekly swings. That's where the money is. Staying in it, just you can't just bounces up and down and you're not really doing a lot. So... Knowing your charts, knowing your levels, uh, ins and outs. Uh, we just need some, some big volume for a breakout, basically. Okay, last one. Looks like we've got a double top without even looking at it. Oof, okay. Sorry, I'm just checking a trade here. 213% I'm currently up on Bitcoin. Wow. Woo! That's nice. Damn. I nailed that entry. Noah just said he saw a uh, bullish engulfing candle on the weekly. Oh, did he? Nice. 215 Up 20 bucks on that trade. I, I spent $8, and I'm up 20 bucks. Awesome. Gotta love futures. All right. Daily, daily, daily. Let's go for a major trend here. Okay. Don't really. Okay. So looking at this, we're, we're looking for positivity, as in positivity is in trade positivity. So you can just see on the daily, we're already trying to touch the 200 here, which is positive. Uh, that was the moving average crossover. So that was your money with APT right here. Um, so now what we're looking for is, what I like to do here is kind of just lay this out. You've got your 50 coming up here and hopefully the 20 will continue up there. Uh, if we look at this here, if we look at that gap 
there. What I like to do is move the gap over to here. It's hard to tell because it can go up and down, but we may see a squeeze. If this continues up, we might see a really nice squeeze coming up in the next week or two. More mask news, the better. It's still coming out. Yep. Um, I'm going to try... I'm Sorry, go. Very, very long on APT. I'm going to track this trend. Just, just to have a look. Okay, so see how it's used the middle here? As our support, it's when you know you got it right. So that's our downtrend. So we've now broken out of the downtrend. Uh, we closed outside on this candle here, and that's where we're getting this rally now. So this is good news, very good news. Um, let's have a look at some quick levels. I might run a fib on this. That's a good level there. Next good level to break would be that there. Oop. That level right in there. Right where we're at. Should get a really decent run after that level. That'll be that'll be our crossover area into there, into this squeeze then. Into that bad boy. So there's two scenarios here. You've got a squeeze into here. Or, depending how this trade goes, you'll see it start to widen out into this area. And what I mean by widen out is, is the trade then kind of widens out into this larger area. And you may see a breakthrough down here. Um, or, you kind of get it up into this area here. Uh, it needs to come and test for support and then kind of come into this area here and then push out. And they're the types of scenarios uh, that happens with, with stocks. Don't need that. Uh, the four hour is hell bullish. Sure you hopefully you're in this last week. I just don't like that double top looking thing, that's all. see it here I hope it dips some so more people can get in it I've only been saying it for days now <laughs> yeah well, I said it was bullish with you um, I was hoping people did get in but don't, it's, I think it's a very sloppy double top I don't think we're there I think it may just be a matter of looking left. What are we at the five minute? So this is the trend here, the black. I really like it to see the the black and the the five minute two hundred will be here on Monday morning. So that's where I'll be looking for a bounce. Is right there. Nine dollars, nine ish. What you can do is see how we go but in terms of overall yeah very bullish uh pick an entry uh, let's let's get some money and COVID hit it went up to 41 dollars i believe uh where are we march that's that spike there yep 41 i am it's a hell of i'll a take spike. i'll take half that that's a hell of a spike if you look at the overall it's due it's honestly due for a spike and this could be it. So uh, if we get past this mark here, definitely hang on to your seatbelts, I'll tell you that, because it'll be a fast ride from 15 to 20. And vice versa, it should be a pretty fast ride past uh, the $10 mark as well, the 1070. Um, if we want to look at some levels real quick, um, just as a, as a thing here, we'll go, let's have a look at some levels. Let's have a look at some major levels we need to get to there. Let's just throw that up here. Bring it down to here. So yeah, that's, that's our major level there. $15. Let's 
And then if you want smaller levels, just go to the next swing. You can see we're at that level now. Look at that, perfect. Get through that and we're on to the next one. $12, let's go. That's it, that's APT. A couple of ways you can chart things. Hope everyone's learnt something tonight. Uh, let's close this session with questions. I don't know how many people we've got left on here. Um, has anyone got any questions? We are 262%. Huh. Wow. Questions, anyone? Quiet. Okay. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, don't forget, give this a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, plenty more content coming out, plenty more detailed content. Um, I hope you like the way I explain things. Uh, that's going to be it for me tonight. Hope you all enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time in the sandpit. Good night, everyone. Uh, just remember, though, for those out there, um, don't panic, chart it. See you next time, guys. Thank you. Thank you.